I'm Claire Bailey and I'm the phonics lead at Chesterton Primary School. Today we're going to be watching a reception class, phase three phonics lesson, led by the class teacher. Some of the children in the group you are going to watch attended nursery here at Chesterton, but some children were new to the setting in September. We did a baseline of all children to make sure they were grouped according to their phonic knowledge and skill set. Okay, so now we're going to do our speed sounds. Are you ready? Let's go. The first part of the lesson is revisit and review. The aim of this part of the lesson is speedy recognition of previously taught GPCs as well as speedy recognition of common exception words, which we call tricky words. We use flashcards at this point in the lesson as it allows the adult to respond promptly to errors and misconceptions. Here we are looking for correct articulation and fluency. In other words, the children are not relying on their blending skills. Good. Good job. And then I just wanted to have a look at this one because um, I want you to show me your thumbs if I'm saying it well or if I'm not saying it well. Okay? Ready? Ha, 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 ha. Whoa, dear, what happened? What do I need to do better? How can I change it? Yes, Alexa. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, good, it's a breathy sound. Should we try it one more time? job everybody and we've got a new tricky word today <gasps> this one looks a bit similar to our she, last tricky word does anyone recognize it she, sounds like she, some of you already recognize it so put your hand up if you think you might have already seen this word around <gasps> Fatima what word do you think it is she. Ah, so Fatima, you've already seen this word before and you already know what it is that's perfect can anyone tell me how it looks a bit like he does anyone recognize how it looks a bit similar to our last tricky word he what do you think deja how does i just knew um she um before that she came i knew it before but it's a bit similar because there's a h with that one yes so it's got an h e. and an e. e so it's an h and an e but she also has an s so it's S-H-E for she. And our action for she is we point to a girl in the group and we go, she. she. Let's do that all together, ready? She. she. Fantastic. This part of the lesson is teach. The aim of this part of the lesson is to introduce a new GPC. We encourage the children to orally rehearse the phoneme before they see the grapheme and make multi-sensory links in their learning. This includes some partner work. Then we introduce the grapheme along with the letter formation. We explicitly teach the letter name at this point too. Right, now today we are learning a new sound. So watching my mouth very carefully, the new sound we are learning today is Z. Can you have a go at that together, ready? Z. Okay, watching my mouth one more time. Z. All together. It's like a zigzag. It looks like a zigzag. Good. And it kind of buzzes your tongue to say a little bit. Can you turn to tell your partner the new sound? <laughs> turn and show your partner. Remember who your partner is? That's it. <laughs> now, our grapheme for z looks like this. It goes across, down and across okay and actually our action for that does the same thing we're a little bumblebee and we go Zzz. the letter name is Z my turn your turn Z across down and across fantastic let's try it one more time across down and across can you guys have a go on your whiteboards for me now word I am going to be writing is zog zog so 
Let's see if we can find the sounds in zog together. Shall we try? Ready? Z-O-G. Zog. Good. So there are three sounds. We've got our first sound, which is z. What's the next sound that I'm going to need? And then what's the last sound in zog? G. And you need to have zog on your boards too. As neatly as you can, please. And if you've got a spare z, just rub it out so we don't get confused, okay? Lots of times, which might get confusing. So rub out all the spares, we just need... The next part of the lesson is practice. The aim of this part of the lesson is for children to use the new GPC at word level. Today you will see our class teacher playing sound swap. This kind of activity involves isolating and manipulating phonemes to create new words, which is an important skill for reading and spelling. Good, so now we're going to play that magic game where we switch out a sound. So I want to go from zog to zig. So which sound am I going to change? Am I going to change this sound? No. no. Am I going to change this yes. sound? Yes. Am I going to change this sound? No. So I want you guys on your boards, you're going to write a, uh, rub out one sound, just one sound, and change it so that you make the word zig. Zig. See if you can have a go at that. Just rub out the middle sound and change it so that you make the word zig. Good job. Fantastic. Really good. Pop your boards down everybody. Who's going to come and help me? Someone's sitting beautifully. Who's going to help me change Zog to Zig on the board? Emmy, do you want to come and help us change Zog to Zig? The rest of us, we're going to watch and check that she does it perfectly. Ooh, let's see. Well done. Should we give her a whoosh? Uh, whoosh? And let's segment that together. Ready? Z, I, G, Z. Good. So we've blended that together. Z, I, G, Z. Now, I want to go from Zig to zag so i want you to do the same thing which sound am i going to change am i going to change this sound no, no. this sound yes. yes this sound no okay off you go change the sound to make the word zag 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 Good job. Let's try this out together. Ready? Z, A, G, Zag. Good. So we've gone from zig to zag. Now I want to go from zag to zap. Okay. Let's see which sound we need to change. Do I need to change this sound? No. Do I need to change this sound? No. Do I need to change this sound? Yeah. Okay. Everybody change zag to zap, please. Zap. Superstar, well done. So, we've got zap. Should we try that ready? Zap. Zap. The next part of the lesson is apply. The aim of this part of the lesson is for children to use the new GPC at caption or sentence level and apply their reading to a text. So now, it's our turn to have a little try at some reading together. So, our first pointing partner is going to point to each word and our first reading partner is going to read each word. We're going to read page three, so this number here, three, and page four. Zog ran to get a rig. It is a fun rig. We also touch on prosody here. The children listen and evaluate different voices to identify reading with expression. The first thing we're going to try is me reading and I want you to show me your thumbs. If you like how I'm reading it, I want you to put your thumbs up like this. If you think I could do it even better, I want you to put your thumbs down like this. So let's see who's ready with their thumbs. Zog ran to get a wig. It is a fun wig. What do you think? Oh, I've got Khadija going, no, oh dear, she's going, no, there. What, what was wrong? What, why don't you like the way that I was reading? What was I missing there? 
What was I missing, Khadija? You're missing your human voice that was a robot voice. I was using a robot. Yes. Oh dear. We could try it a different way, okay. Does anyone have a good way of reading Zog ran to get a wig? Basma. A nice voice. In a nicer voice. Shall I show you away first and we can try and see what we think? What do we think of this one? Ready? Zog ran to get a wig. What do you think? Show me your thumbs. Do we like that? Do we not like that? Tick. Is it better? Tick. Oh, I like that. We're doing a tick with our finger. Great. Okay, what was better about that? Who can tell me? Federico. Because you were feeling... You're using your human voice. I used my human. I used my storyteller voice especially, didn't I? Zog ran to get a wig. Shall we try that all together? Ready? The following phonics lesson will use the same text to develop comprehension. Finally, we finish our lesson with a plenary to review and highlight the learning that has taken place. <laughs>